In this video segment, Federico and I discuss his definition of success, how his research has impacted his worldview, and his advice on reinterpreting the energy used by fear to apply to something more productive. I specifically wondered how Federico's theory of consciousness, how his realization that the external world is really an illusion and the inner reality is the most important and true thing, has impacted the way he lives his daily life. Because I was thinking, how do you go about living your life if the external world is really all that we know and all that we see? Does that weigh him down knowing that, that it's an illusion? Those trees actually are, they're not out there per se. I don't know what's out there. Because all that I, all that I believe is out there is what I have I have constructed in my brain yeah. through these, yeah. the, 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 the sensory brain system before when I was wedded to a certain worldview, there was a, there was more a sense of unreality at that time than there is now. Because now I see myself inside the game. Okay. Where before I didn't I didn't you know, it was it, it was even frustrating, you know not to understand but what's, what's, what's going on here. And so now is the pleasure of discovery. What is it? You know, what is it? You know, out here and out there yeah. that is not like, you know, how would it work? How, you know, how can I explain it? Okay, so it's an it's a, it's a incredible game. Mm -hmm. This discussion led me to ask how Federico has previously defined success in his life and how that's changed to where he is today. And he describes that there has been quite a journey and a change in that definition over time. To, to me, success in my life, and I haven't reached that yet, um, is not what people tell you the success is, is you having a ball in your life. Okay? You enjoy your life from the inside, from your own feeling. Mm -hmm. I would not have defined that at all, like you know, the same, yeah, way, the same way 30 years ago. Okay. But now I see clearly. And so I also can now test myself, am I really, you know, you know, mm -hmm. do I really have a ball? And if <laughs> you're honest with yourself, you say, yeah. well, I you know, not now. Mm -hmm. So fear has to go. Now that's a tall order. Yeah, because we all have huge. all kinds of fears. Yeah, right? yeah. So how do you how do you deal with that? Yeah. Okay, you deal with that by looking inside, looking at the source of fear within you, understanding it, and as you understand it, not by pretending that it's not there, or putting something on top to cover it up, or enduring it without facing it. Fear is energy. Is your energy? That's why you cannot. You got to you got to transform face it, it. Yeah. face it and transform it because it's energy which is corrupted by misunderstanding. It is basically not understood stuff that you need to and when you understand it you undo the knots. Yeah. And all yeah. of a sudden you recover the your energy, your vital energy, which now is free to enjoy. Oh wow, okay. It's a it's energy that's integral to you. You just need to that's re right. interpret you it. Can, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes. If I were to stop self-realizing myself, I don't think I could make progress even in my science. I would end up being stuck somewhere because that energy that I don't want to see in myself, which is, which is you know, you know, knotted up, that is what also impedes my intellect okay. to see something yeah. new. How do you feel that you've been able to free yourself from the framework, uh, scientific framework, just a social framework to make these groundbreaking discoveries or you know just to think these sort of thoughts mm -hmm. because I, I think it, it's so it's so revolutionary in the way you're addressing mm -hmm. it and you're talking about a complete you know reframing of mm -hmm. the system that we think our universe is built yeah. off of yeah. how do you do you think you've had that ability your whole life how do you think you've been able to do that um that, that's a very perceptive question actually um most people will not think that um in fact, it was the hardest thing to do, to, to uh, free myself of a certain way uh, of looking at reality, which was what I, I learned at school, you know, I learned, I mean, that's what physics tells you, is done this way, and so you... Federico explains that he enters into states of consciousness that give him a glimpse of what he's studying, and he describes it sort of like a fish 
um, that's always been in water its whole life and it's taken out and realizes what it's been in. So he had those sort of transcendent experiences that gave him insight into the reality of his research. He explains that he thinks he's been able to have these um, experiences because he's had such a strong desire to understand consciousness. There is much more to talk about with Federico's research, so I will link below um, resources to his website that explains it more in detail, and I will also link our full conversation below where we get more into his theory of consciousness. Thank you for watching.